Okay, the Sweet Home Alabama song is actually pretty easy because um, all the chords that we're going to use um, are basically just the D major chords. Then you have a slightly different chord than what you're used to, and that's the C slash G chords. It's an open chord, and you you're not placing the fourth finger onto the E string, so it sounds like this. And the last chord of the three that we're going to use. It's a standard G chord. When you're playing the G chord, make sure that your third finger is on the B string and it's a third fret, so it's quite a full sound. You will hear the difference. Okay, so we play D major first, C slash G second, G chord at the end. Now, the strumming, strumming is pretty simple. And I'll show you right now fast and then I'll go slower. Basically, there is this thing we have to do when you first start strumming the, the song. You need to make sure that you put the emphasis on the first two downstrokes. So what, what I mean by that is basically you're trying to mute with the fingers of your left hand while you're holding chords. You try to mute it by lifting the fingers a little bit about the fretboards, basically releasing the uh, releasing the, the, the fingers it actually you know moving the hand away from the fretboard it looks like this and it sounds like this it's quite a swift movement in there so basically you have to strum while you're holding the chord and release that okay So it's always the two downstrokes down that you have to do this emphasis in order to create this this, this sort of like melody you're creating in there. Because if you were to pick the whole song, it has to, it sounds like this. By having the emphasis when you're strumming the, the song, you sort of create the same melody uh, that you would have if you were to pick the whole song as they do that. But also during the whole song, it's basically strumming after the first part. So yeah, I mean, it's quite simple in the end. I'll repeat the whole song for you right now. <laughs> 